the Lloyd Minster Bobcats have signed their second and third prospects of the offseason. Joining me today to discuss each of these players is Lloyd Minster Bobcats head coach and general manager, Nigel Dubay. Nigel, thank you very much for taking this time and joining me. Let's jump right into things here. Uh, starting off with defenseman Oren Olsen. Uh, he will be coming from the Moose Jaw Warriors U18 AAA program. Now, Nigel, just starting things off, tell us a little bit about Oren as a player. Well, Oren, he's a really strong, uh, strong player, strong skater. Um, he was a, a dominant player in the Sask uh, male U18s. Um, and a player that we, we recruited hard all year. Um, I think just his skiing ability uh, with that chip on his shoulder edge will, will fit into our defensive core uh, really nice. And, and he brings uh, an offensive upside, uh, just a matter of getting pucks to the net and around the scoring areas. And Nigel, I saw that he did spend some time with the Yorkton Terriers in the SJHL this past season. So, you know, it's not just you guys thinking he's ready for that jump, but it's sort of a consensus across junior hockey. Well, he played nine uh, nine playoff games with Yorkton. Um, after his season was over, he jumped right over and just uh, traveled with the team, played with the team. So uh, from our standpoint, uh, I thought it was a, a great experience for him. Uh, it was also an experience for us to, to watch him go up. Uh, you know, they played uh, Esteban, who's hosting the Centennial Cup. So they were able to play them and, and watch him in those game situations too. Um, just reiterated what we saw in him as a player. And, and uh, more importantly, um, the background checks on him again, the, the person he is was huge. Now, Nigel, you kind of touched on it, but I guess just go a little more in depth. Uh, how will he fit into your decor that's returning all except for Zach Whitaker uh, for this upcoming season? Well, I think you look at it, and, and I know that uh, in the process, Ben Bygrove talked to him throughout. And, um, you know, I know Oren's out right now. It's calving season for them. So he's going to be another one that's uh, leaving cowboy boots at the door kind of thing. So he'll, he'll fit in great with that group back there um, and, and the experience that we have. Um, and I think, uh, you know, he'll, uh, he'll be a, a welcomed addition and, and something that we're, we're looking to add on. I think that, uh, you know, we've talked about it before is creating offense from the defense. And I think he'll be able to bring that for us. And the other signing for your team is Ishan Mutukulb. Just tell us a little bit about what he'll bring to the ice. Well, I think for Ishan, uh, you know, we talk about the North Division being so tough every night. Uh, the element that he brings is is he has the, uh, you know, the strength, uh, but has a, a really high offensive skill and his compete um, is through the roof. And you put those together, um, you know, as the season went on, he, he just continued to get better and better and better. Um, and then you look at the playoff run here. They just won the Sask uh, AAA League and and uh, his playoff run, big goals. Um, you know, he scored with a minute and 10 to go in, in game two, a best of five to tie it up and, and force overtime. Um, you know, he had a game winner in that series and um, just a, a piece that uh, brings experience, leadership and a, a big offensive side to him um, that plays a heavy and hard game. And Nigel, I saw he was the captain for the Notre Dame Hounds. Uh, you know, we always talk about the team not just wanting good hockey players, uh, but also good people. Now, does he check both those boxes? Well, it was an interesting one on, on you know, trying to find out more about him. I actually called uh, over to the, the school and, and their program there and um, talked to administration staff and um, just, uh, you know, the references that uh, they gave on him and, and their appreciation for his, his every day, whether it's volunteering in their school, uh, being a guy that, uh, you know, others go to, that the young kids look up to. I think those were a big factor. Um, and it was good to get to know the staff there and, and their honesty, um, you know, throughout that process. But uh, uh, I think that's identified too in him being a captain. And if you look at all, any of the interviews that he does, whether it's post game or, or anything of the highlights online, he always talks about team first um, and, and just lives by that. And um, same thing, um, his celebrations on the bench when his teammates have success on the ice. Um, you know, I think speaks to that. So uh, it, it's pretty cool. Uh, we have a lot of captains in our, in our roster. If you look down our roster, there's a lot of uh, players that wore C's or A's with their respective teams before they got here. And, um, you know, we're looking to continue adding, adding on to that. Well, Nigel, thank you so much for taking this time and joining me. I think it's safe to say Bobcats fans can be excited about seeing these two players on the ice this upcoming season.